Well, hello everybody, Pastor Randy here. Welcome to Making It Simple. Great to be with you on this beautiful Thursday. Happens to be raining today here where I am, but you know what? It's still a beautiful day. God bless you. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to start a brand new study. Probably going to take a couple of lessons on this one because it's not very, very long. We just came out of a powerful teaching series on what is sin. But I want to follow that up with a with a shorter series on the teaching of what is victory. Now, that word, if we look it up, define it, whatever the case, it means defeat of those on the opposite side. So that, that's a pretty clear definition. And we, and we think of that uh, when we think of the word victory. Um, it's known. It can be seen. Whether it's the score, whether it's the hand being raised, you know, depending on whatever the you know the the one receiving the the trophy or the award or the first one to break the the yellow tape at the finish line, that's pretty easy to see who the victor is. That that's not hard to determine at all. Everybody knows it. There's no doubt. They are the world champion. They are the, the, the World Series champion, the Super Bowl champion, the you know Grand Slam champion, what, whatever, whatever the thing is, the Boston Marathon winner. Th those are pretty easy to see, whoever, whatever the competition might be. So that's, a, that's an easy, easy word to define as it pertains to the visual outcome of a contest. But what about life? When, when is victory obvious? Now, again, I'm not talking about just a moment. Again, whether it's a contest, I won the lottery, I won, you know, the office pool, or, I, I, you know, or, or, you know, hey, I, I beat the rain and I got in the door without getting wet. We're not talking about the, we're not talking about just a moment, but an actual victorious life. Not an arrogant life, not a prideful life, not a, hey, look at me. We're not talking about that, but what, about, what is a victorious life? What is victory? What can we find about that in the Bible? What, what, what does Scripture say that this is? But even greater, how can it be obtained? Friends, I tell you, the last few years have been a challenge for many. I realize it's been much longer than that in the course of a lifespan because there's many people that have wrestled with finding victory for a long time because they've never they've never pursued it. And the and the routes to which they have have ended up being a dead end. You know, whether it was a unsuccessful attempt at this or that or what we're not talking necessarily about those things, although that will come into the conversation. But many today are living in defeat. In other words, they live as if, they act as if, they really have embraced the fact that victory is not possible. In other words, for clarity, they give up. Now, this is not to disparage anyone. This is not to speak ill of anyone. But friends, this is what we need to understand. If, if we look, if we look through Scripture, as we always do here at Making It Simple. Now, now again, we just came out of this tremendous teaching series. But, and I want to thank everybody that sent me messages, comments, whatever about that. Because that series alone was one of the better ones that I feel so confident about that we've done here on this platform, making it simple. I just love that because the simplicity and the beauty and the power of the words that we shared over those seven lessons um, leaves no doubt. And I and I don't say that with arrogance. I don't say that with any kind of prideful attitude, but rather it's clear. There's not a question about what we said in those seven lessons that should leave any question to anybody about what that word means and how it applies to our life and how we live and how we how we get beyond it. But this also is going to apply to this message. What is victory? 
If we look throughout Scripture, if we study what it says in the Bible, we, we can all conclude very clearly, in fact, victory, victory, the ultimate victory, the ultimate prize, the, 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 the grand slam, whatever you want to call it, everything, all is found in Christ. It is found in our relationship with Him, which we talked about. It is found in our in our walk with Him and our allowing Him to, to dictate, run, operate our lives that we will indeed do as He said, follow me. If we find Him, we find victory. I believe that with all my heart. How can I say that with such confidence? How can I say to the person who says, oh, I don't want to hear about that religion stuff. Here's, here's a little secret. Neither did Jesus. You see, Jesus rebuked the religious people. Think about that for a minute. Go back and read it. Jesus had nothing to do with religion. It was never about that. It was never to establish a religion. It was to establish the presence of God in the flesh, walking among his creation, to let you know you can do this. You can do this. And I'm going to be your example to show you how. It was never to form a new religion or build a, a red brick church somewhere. It was about to show us that life can be achieved and life can be lived as he came to give it more abundantly. There's a beautiful message in victory when we come to know Jesus. Mary, as she's approached by the angel who has told her now, she is with child, conceived of the Holy Spirit, born of God, given as a beautiful gift of God to this world because she had found favor in the eyes of God to bring our Savior into this world as a babe, not, not as, a, as a 10 foot tall bulletproof monster that would come in and rule the world with an iron fist. No, God came in as a spotless, flawless lamb. But Mary, Mary asked the question, she said, how is this possible? I've not known a man. I, I've, not, I've not done the, 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 the biological procedure that it takes for that to happen. And here's what the angel said in Luke chapter 1. For with God, nothing is impossible. That's going to be the basis for our lesson over these next few days as we come together here, making it simple. What is victory? If we look at these words, for with God, nothing is impossible. That includes finding victory in this life. We're going to talk about that over the next few times that we're together. I'm looking forward to this lesson. I believe that it will be encouragement to you. If you're struggling with anything in this life, we're going to find answers right here. We're going to look at Scripture. We're going to talk about real-life examples. And, and we're going to see that, indeed, nothing is impossible with God. Thank you. Have a great day. I look forward to being back with you. It probably won't be until Monday. Typically here lately, we've been just doing Monday through Thursday as Fridays are getting a little bit busier for me. So not always able to be with you, but God bless you. Thank you for your support and your prayers here for making it simple. I look forward to being back with you on Monday. Have a great weekend. Until then, God bless you. God loves you. And I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.